Okay, so let's talk about this. What do you think about online dating? Have you done it? Have you done it? I've done it and married. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. I met my husband on Match.com. Really? Match.com. So, what, were you at home one night? You were bored. You had nothing to do. So you said, let me just go on and see what's it, out there. It's a the long uh, uh, yeah. application process, yeah. too, isn't it? That's like, eHarmony. Oh, that's eHarmony. Oh, yeah, sorry. I never did eHarmony. <laughs> you did the easy <laughs> one. Yeah. And I never had a profile up. I just um, paid to respond to people. Oh, okay. So there's different um, services. I, I don't know if it's... I mean, I didn't even have a JPEG of my site. Like... What did you do? You put a, I a said, picture. I well, said, go to the Writers Guild website. There was like a picture with my head this big. Wow. I mean, this is how long ago this okay. was. You were one of the original. I'm one of the pioneers. It was oh, embarrassing. Okay. I would not. Have, I was like, I have to do Match.com, but I'm, I work at home. I'm a writer, and I don't. So you know. gave up dating? Like you were? No, you were just no, like over? I, I mean, like the regular way of meeting guys. I, no? How do you meet? It just wasn't yeah. working because you work alone. I work alone, so I go to the grocery store. All you know in the produce mm -hmm. aisle, and like, it's <laughs> yeah. gonna happen for me, where's my husband? I mean, constantly this narrative of where's my husband. Really? Mm -hmm. And it's pathetic, and you're trying to pretend it doesn't matter, and it's all about empowering yourself, but you know what, I wanted to meet somebody. I mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of contradictory mm -hmm. messages we got as women, like, about this topic. But I figured at least I'm doing something about mm -hmm. it, I'm proactive, as opposed to just complaining about how I'm, there's no men, mm -hmm. there's, it's hard, and at least I was getting that, flexing that muscle, Okay, well, let me ask you this. When you first saw his picture, what did, what did you think? What did you do? Fantastic. Really? <laughs> Just based on his photo. Yes, and he was on a motorcycle in one of the shots, which oh. is this giant But yeah. But oh. I forgave it because he was so cute. Okay. Did he look like that when he came and knocked yes. on your door? He matched his photo. Yes. Did he? he? Okay. Which is okay. unusual from what I hear. Most people put their best 1985 <laughs> picture up. Yeah. And then it's like, Job of the Hut walks in. Right. And I've. I went on a lot of bad dates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how long was the the, the time you met him on, on the or what side? Match. Match. Match to the time you walked down the aisle. Uh, a year and a half. Wow, wow. Right. that's amazing. Yeah. That was a real match. So okay, so, so you <laughs> saw <laughs> who was a real match. So you saw his photo. And then you reached you, out you poked him. him or reach out. Mm -hmm. I, mean, like, I don't know how that I, worked back then, but yeah, like I sent him. Yeah, and we started. So you started communicating. Yeah. yeah. And then how long before you met in we, person? We were fast and furious with the messages back and forth, and then we started talking on the phone, and we like we, we met within about a, two weeks okay. of the okay. first. And sweet, he was he he told me right up front like I'm dating a lot, like on that. Oh, he's really honest. He was. And um, he said he went. He had a date set up for the day after we went out. Mm -hmm. And he said he knew during that date because he was like, "Oh, what's Heather doing tonight?" <gasps> oh. Oh. And he said that was it. And I took down my profile, and you were it. And, and that okay. was it. Mm -hmm. See, wow. because sometimes you think just crazy people. That's what. That's what we think about. <laughs> totally crazy. Right. People. I don't. I don't. Like, like, that at all. like sometimes like, you do with but you, drama all the sure. time. Yeah. But not crazy today. People everywhere. Maybe when yeah. you were doing it, you were pioneers that the crazies hadn't hit it yet. I think maybe five. <laughs> there and now it is completely acceptable if you're yeah. not dating online mm -hmm. and you want to be dating then mm -hmm. you're an idiot because okay. it's like what are you gonna just gonna let time pass by how mm -hmm. are you gonna you're not gonna meet people at the produce aisle when's mm -hmm. the last time anyone ever talked to you at the grocery store let alone or you know so single bar well, what about the right? bar yeah. yeah like the old-fashioned way I don't I'm know. Not, I'm not sure. church, church or something That's I mean, always church, go to church, church. I agree yeah. if you're into that right. mm -hmm. I always tell my single girlfriends either in their late 20s, 30s, and 40s, go and do things you enjoy doing. Because right. if you want to find Inevitably a match, you will. then you'll pick someone yeah. that actually enjoys what you like right. doing, instead of conforming right. to something mm -hmm. you think you might be a fit with. Yeah. You know, so if you like volunteering for Habitat for Humanity, and you like traveling to Costa Rica, do that, because you will find some very interesting men that like to do that as well. Um, but I just think the internet's efficient. You're at home, you can kind of call wow. through it. So that's a ha you're actually probably a third person I know that if resulted in a marriage mm -hmm. yeah. from online mm -hmm. match yeah. dating. Yeah. I don't know where I would where my life would be without this great tool. That's amazing. Yeah. And I'm so glad that I got over my kind of like at the time it was embarrassing. It was like I was so did desperate. You, did you not say did you not share right away like, oh no, we met on match.com or no, did you were you not shamed? I'm candid about my life, but uh, I, I remember feeling like, why can't I get this on my own? Mm. I think there's this sort of narrative we get mm -hmm. as women that 
pressure. You're, you have to resort no, to online right. dating. No, you like know, if it's you're like, attractive oh, enough yeah. and you're enough of a catch, like you're filling your car mm -hmm. and like cars are going to screech to a halt to right. meet you. <laughs> right. Or you're attractive and witty and fun and whatever. Mm -hmm. right. In the airport, you're going to get lots of dates. Mm -hmm. And it isn't like that. I mean, not always. Yes. I, and I was married before. So. I always found that I knew lots of great guys, and I felt like I got off the carousel after my divorce and was like, what in the hell just happened? Yeah. It was a different landscape. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, you're not calling me back. Fuck right. Yeah. You're waiting I mean, not days. that I'm, you know, yeah. so fantastic, right. but, I, but it was just, it was so hard. <laughs> Did you want like, to be married again? You yes. want, yeah. yeah. I mean, I wanted a family. I didn't have any. You didn't have kids with your first no, marriage. No, my yeah. parents were super happy, yeah. and so it was really devastating for me, and I, it still was a very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To right. trust again. And I, at the end of my first date with my husband, I put my hand out. Nice to meet you. Right. No <laughs> kiss? Right. Yeah. And he's like, what do you want? We just <laughs> talked for five hours. This is kind of bad. Right? <laughs> yeah. oh, I like it. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, ah, nice. Right. But I nice. have a bubble of like, right. do you not mess with me. Protective. Yeah, protective. Exactly. Yeah, because you never know these days. Now, you have tried online dating or no? No. Uh, I looked. I did look. There was a time where I was looking. <laughs> okay. I think it was between marriage... Two and three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. A bottle of rosé. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just I don't have boyfriends. I just got married for some reason. But no, now now it's it's perfect. It's great. Mm -hmm. It's great. But, but I did have a. I was a single mom for a while, and dating with. I mean, dating for a single mother. It's a little tricky. It's yeah. a little tricky, right? Right. You had right. Um, a, a little one as well, right? I had a little one, but I was not married. Mm -hmm. And um, I have an well, let me tell you this, I have an older daughter who's thirty years old, which is crazy. And she crazy. <laughs> online dates. Oh, she online dates. She has oh. met a few people online, and she's kind of changed my view on it because I do think that's probably the wave of the future. Well, look, yeah, yes. absolutely. And yes. I've had a girlfriend now. I've had a girlfriend who's was online uh, eHarmony. Yes, mm -hmm. met him. Mm -hmm got married and divorced within a year, mm -hmm. but I do not think that has anything to do with, with that, it. That would happen without the internet. Yeah. There's still stages that you have to go through right. when you're meeting and dating, and they're, you know, just like that uh, interview. So yeah. your daughter yeah. is yes. dating, and she has kids? My daughter has, yes. Okay, so Sue, have you guys talked about um, when she introduces the kid to her potential, or her boyfriend? Um, you know? She had a situation where she introduced her son and it was probably a little too soon because mm -hmm. I think, I personally think, you introduce, you bring the kids in when it looks like this is where we're going to go. Yeah. So because then, before. you know, obviously yeah. you're, you're pulling him and you're tearing him, you're, he's meeting that's someone that's else confusing. and so you have to be yeah. very careful with this and she learned from experience mm -hmm. so that probably won't happen again. Right. And um, yeah, I think you just Yeah, you're right. Time. That's a good rule of thumb is like you wait until there's really some definite signs of you know, a, there's a level of seriousness right. there. Are you right. committed and monogamous? Yes, yeah. But also exactly. I think yeah, committed and monogamous is good, but I also think that your child comes first, obviously. Mm -hmm. Are they compatible? Like, don't wait too long until you figure out you're totally in love with each other, and then you introduce your child, and they're like, mm -hmm. I do not like this mm -hmm. man or this woman. I think it needs to be right when you're committed and mm -hmm. you're dating mm -hmm. seriously, but not a year or two into it. Oh, gosh, that seems a long time. That's a long time. Right, yeah, right. You need to make time. sure that that relationship also has some time to gestate, I would think. Yeah. And I have a girlfriend who just got separated. She's got three kids. Oh. And she was just rolling the boyfriends left and right. Oh, gosh. And she didn't and introduce it, them, right? No, no. <coughs> she was introducing them all over the place. And oh. I just don't think that she was thinking that that might be confusing or potentially damaging or really alienating to her soon to be yeah. ex. Mm -hmm. You know, and disrespectful. I think you just gotta, you know, mm -hmm. walk a cautionary line when you do that sort of thing. I mean, I've never online dated, but I've gone on some blind dates, mm -hmm. which is, you it's know, kind of where someone, yeah, you know, your friend is like, you oh, you've got you like make... running, you like reading books, you, you know, check, this is who you are. They, they are my <laughs> online dating, you know, platform. And they set you up and you're like, well, then you breathe. This is, yes. <laughs> This is what you think of me? This is who you think I should be with? This is very confusing, you know? Yeah. And so, but I think if I was single, again, I would definitely go, if I was ready, straight to the online date. The online date. It makes e sense. Specifically. Mm -hmm. It makes sense, because you just check off the, check off all the boxes. Right. and What your values are. Yeah. 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 I, w I would probably do it. I mean, I'm married, and I plan on being married until it's, you know, I'm, I'm gone. But <laughs> if in I the was afterlife, in that situation, I, mean, yeah, I would do it. Okay. But I, uh -huh. Here's the question. Who pays on the online date? Uh, first time. I guess that would apply to any first date, I suppose, but... It's going to mean something to me if he doesn't pull out his 
It okay. will mean something. Oh, okay. absolutely. Yeah. You see, just, this, you see, said that's something. Still right? That's the question absolutely. about a previous conversation we had about leaning in. But I am sorry. When you mm -hmm. go on a date, and I, you ask me out on a date, I expect the man to pay. When I ask you on a date, mm -hmm. I expect you to pay. <laughs> I mean, chivalry should not be I dead. Agree. I expect you to open the door. So it kind of like it's, con yep. it's contradictory to some of the previous conversations we've had about women going for it and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, treat me like a lady mm -hmm. and court me. And I yes. think that is a lost art and amongst I, men today with the advent of texting and all of that and sort of thing. And I think this is what sets up a lot of the challenges for men. Like, what do you want from us? Yes. I mean, it's so confusing. We do. We want oh, these yes. strong men. <laughs> we want these real women to talk mm -hmm. more. We want them to mm -hmm. yes. you know, share their feelings. Mm -hmm. But why can't you fix my you know, mm -hmm. damn back deck? <laughs> <laughs>